Pastor Scott here with a word of encouragement. Uh, I am so thankful for the book of Psalms in the Bible. It's A lot of it is the children of Israel's uh, hymnal when they gathered for worship. These are some of the hymns they sang. It's also part of it, uh, you know, David's kind of his personal journal. And I tell you what, it, I am so thankful that David uh, would dare to be so transparent. I mean, this is a man after God's own heart, and he shares sometimes just the deep, broken places of his life. And when he does that, and I read it, it brings me some comfort, knowing, like, I'm not the only one that has these feelings sometimes. And there's one that's that's really spoke to me, and it's it's been highlighted and underlined. Uh, in my Bible here, and it's Psalm 69. And I want you to hear these words and see if they, uh, if you're struggling right now, and and you know you're just really feel you know stuck. Hear these words of David, Psalm 69. He says this: uh, "Save me, O God, for the waters have come up to my neck. I sink in the miry depths where there is no foothold. I have come into the deep waters. The floods engulf me." I am worn out calling for help. My throat is parched. My eyes fail looking for my God. You continue to read Psalm 69. It kind of continues on in that whole vein. You know, um, the 14th verse, Rescue me from the mire. Do not let me sink. Um, do not let the floodwaters engulf me or the depths swallow me up or the pit close its mouth over me. And the thing about Psalm 69, it kind of continues on, and it like never, like, you know, resolves. And I think sometimes we want everything to resolve quickly. But what if we would just pour out the the, the hurts um, and the pains of our hearts before God, and just wait? Not try to fix it, not try to just, okay, God, I've done this, and now let's make this happen. Fix me. Of just honestly come before God and pour out your heart. What do you need to pour out before God today and just sit with God in that, in that uncertainty, in that uneasiness, in that fear? What is it? I just want to encourage you today to just take that before the Lord and just sit with the Lord because the Lord is faithful. Be encouraged this week and be blessed.